Okay, I'm going to go through building this this uh, filter for for your shop. Um, a really simple project, easy, inexpensive, quick, um, nothing fancy about it. But it's what I really like about it is number one, it's it's inexpensive. Number two, it's to me it's is as effective or even more effective in some fashion uh, versus the uh, the commercial uh, filters you can buy for your shop, um, uh, like a Jet or a Rikon. Those are those are the ones the, the boxes that basically mount to your ceiling. Um, the, the, I kind of like the idea of, of having it being portable because then you can move it to the areas where you really need it to get the dust as soon as you can. If I'm working in one corner of my shop, I don't want the thing sitting on the, on the opposite corner. So it's nice that you can do that. Also, the fact that it's sitting on the ground to me is, is a better solution than having it in the air because it, when it's when it's on your ceiling, everything. I mean, gravity is going to naturally want to pull stuff down to the floor. So you should be able to get more a more effective collection when it's on, a lower on the floor than on the ceiling. Um, so really basic. So this thing's basically made up of just a, a real cheap box fan. Um, I had this one laying around, but you can pick them up at Walmart for like probably under 15 bucks. So it's a 20 inch box fan. Um, the other things you'll need, you'll need a, a filter. This is a one inch filter. You can buy all different um, styles or, or, or uh, filter levels. And you're gonna you'll pay for whatever you want to get if you want to get the higher if you want to remove uh, pollen and that you're gonna have to buy a more expensive filter. You can spend anywhere from a couple of bucks up to probably fifteen twenty dollars for these filters. So the, the filters just depend on what you think you need. Um, the other parts that you're gonna need. You're, so I've used some quarter inch hardboard that you see these are all just framed in. So there's there's the same pieces on the back side which you can't really see on here but you'll see during the video. Um, and then separating that, there's a, there's, a, there's a piece of pine that runs on, the, on both the top, or the, the both sides, and on the bottom. So, this, so the, uh, the hardboard adds, acts to capture this filter that sits inside of here. So the, 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 filtering, um, the filtering unit is, to me, a, a pretty good solution. Um, I'll, I'll go through it, and uh, please let me know if you uh, have any comments, and leave them in the comment section. Um, if you'd subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate that also, um, or give this video a like. Thanks. I'm going to make a, a, a quick video on building a, uh, an air filter uh, for my shop. So I, I, I've already kind of started a little bit of this. I haven't gotten too far on it. but So basically, um, I've looked on YouTube. I've seen some other videos out there. Um, people have done very exotic designs to really basically simple where they take a, just take the regular uh, a, a furnace filter and they'll just duct tape it or something on your back your fan which will work um, I didn't want to get too too exotic but I, I w would like something I could actually just take the filter on and off I don't want to be peeling tape off and trying to get it back on so so all I'm gonna do this will be pretty pretty basic real simple nothing fancy so basically I'm I've already started I built, I just cut some uh, I had some uh, one by um, pine here that I cut down, and I've got it about seven eighths of inch thick. Um, and then I've, I've drilled some holes through the frame of this fan. It's a 20, 20 inch box fan, and then I got some some bolts. I'll just bolt this through. Um, the issue that I have with this fan, I'm I don't know if the other ones would be the same. The 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 opening in here is is actually wider than. A, the 20 by 20 filter is really not 20 by 20. It's it's about 19 and 5 eighths by 19 and 5 eighths. So it's a little short of that. Plus the opening in this fan is actually greater than 20 inches. Um, so what you what I, I mean what I could do is I could just I'm just basically claiming I'm having to sit in here. But you really don't want gaps in here because the air is going to flow. I mean it's going to go through the path of least resistance, which is going to be bypassing your filter and going straight in through and just going to blow the dust around. So you really got to put um, basically a channel on the inside of this. So what I'm planning on doing, I've got some cardboard here, um, and I'm just going to cut it uh, probably about an inch and a half wide strips. And you now this won't be the piece, but basically the idea is I'll just be putting that behind here, so the filter will sit on it. Because when the, when the when the fan's on, the filter will actually get pulled in, so it'll actually create a, a seal onto the on the edge of this. This, this well will be this hardboard. Um, so I'll put it back behind and then I'm also put, I'll cut a piece and put it on the top. So that way my filter, once I have this all on here, will be able to just slide down in and it will sit in here 
and it'll be captured by this top piece. And if I need to replace it, I just pull it out. I don't really have to do anything with the top, uh, top side, except I'll, I'll put the piece on the back to seal this top edge. Uh, but the top will just be open. I'll be able to just pull the paint in or the filter in and out. Okay, so I'm getting ready. I'm gonna, like I said, I've, so I've got this is four foot wide. Um, I'll just set it at an inch and a half. It doesn't really have to be accurate. I'm just gonna set it based on my scale. It's close enough. So inch and a half, four foot wide. I need I need basically two, four, six, eight. I need 16 linear feet of this. So actually, so I'll need um, I need four passes through here. Actually, the last two I really only need. I only really only need 14, but. Anyway, so I'll do, I'll do four. I'll have an extra piece if I need it. So I've got a bunch of strips cut. So I'm going to cut four of these at 21. Um, so I've already marked this guy, and I'm just going to level up again. They don't have to be; it doesn't have to be perfect because it's not going to sit in there perfectly. As long as you're within a tenth of an inch. Or a quarter of an inch. So just to kind of try to show you what I'm doing here. So I've I've already got these strips cut. So. I'm, these are these are all the same length. So what the plan is, again, I've got to, I'm going to have um, this piece, which I've already got the, the holes drilled and the and the bolts in, and I've got the matching holes in the in the in the frame of the fan. So I'm just going to use this as my template. I'll drill out, set these guys here. I'll drill these both out. So when I get done, I'm going to have basically I'm going to have this here, followed by this, and it'll have it right on the edge, and then, the, and then I'll have this, the mating one up on the top. So I'm going to do that on both the right and the left. Then I'm going to I'm going to do the both the right and left first, and then I'll do the bottom because I want to I want to try to get the minimize the gap um, on this bottom side. So I'm going to get I'm going to try to measure that and cut the that bottom strip. Um, pretty close to the to the actual opening of that. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to clamp. I'm going to use again. I'm using this as my guide. I'm just going to clamp him down, and I'm just going to set him as just by by my eye. I just want to clamp him in. Okay, so I'm using a 3 16th inch bit, um, just a sacrifice for a piece of wood down below. So I'm just going to drill all these, these two up. Then I'm going to repeat it on the other side, the same exact thing. I'm going to assemble the sides and then measure that, that final one for the, for the bottom piece. Okay, so I've got, I've got all my, uh, my sides drilled. So I'm going to, like I said, I've got, I've got two for each, the left and the right. So the plan is, I'll basically be placing this guy in the bottom, and it lines right up with the holes. And this guy is going to go on top of him. And you, you will know, I, I did mark all these with some letters, just to make sure you keep them all right, because the holes are not all symmetrical and they're different side to side. So just, just make sure you, you keep track of who, who is who. So basically it's just going to sandwich in between here. The other one, and I should be able to just hopefully get this fly up. There's one, and the other one should be there. We go. So then I'm just going to bolt him to the bottom. And it's going to be a little tough. It's hard to see it in here, but should be able to just get him on. Take him down so it's one. Okay, 
Okay, so I, I've got the, both the right and the left sides on. I've rotated here, so just kind of watch. So, so basically when I put this in now, it's going to come and sit up on here, which I haven't tightened down. So that's why I want to, I want to put uh, a piece down in this area, same thing. Let's right, see if I get the right stuff. Same idea, so I'm going to need to put a piece into here um, so that this thing will lay on, it will seal onto this instead of being able to blow by. So I'm going to, I'm going to measure exactly from the, the distance between here and then I'll cut, it, I'll cut that piece out and again I'll, mount, I'll just do the same thing, I'll mount them underneath here um, and then I'll, I'll also put one on the top just to finish it off. So that pretty much takes care of the, the fan. So I've, I've added the, the one on the bottom. Again, it's, it's repeating what I did on the sides. Basically, it's just the uh, sandwich between the, 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 the one by. I've got the, the piece of hardboard in there um, on the top and the bottom. And then I just added the strip, this filler strip on the top to seal the gap on the, on the top side. So um, now I should just be able to put a, stick a filter in here and pull it out when, anytime I need. So. For example, so again, as th so this is drawing in from the back. So on the on the filters, you'll find the the infamous arrow. So the arrow says here it has to go this way. So basically, it just pops in there, slides down, fits, fits pretty good, pretty well in place. Looks like it's pretty sealed. There's not a lot of it doesn't look like I got a lot of gaps, so I, I should be good. So really easy, real simple. Um, just using scrap wood, so it didn't really cost me much except for. Um, a few screws I had to go up. Okay, so let's do a true test of the filtering. So I've got I've got a couple different uh, pieces of, of some sawdust. I got some some heavier stuff. Then I have some fine. So I'm going to just turn this on. I'll, I'll put it on full speed and I'll just drop some in. You can kind of hopefully be able to see how it draws it in. Okay, so I'm going to start with the, the fine stuff first. I think you can see it's 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 pulling it in pretty well. So if it's in the air, it looks like it's it doesn't have any issue with, with sucking that stuff out. So again, just kind of throwing it up, let it drop. So here I'm going to try a little bit of heavier stuff. And even that gets drawn in. Again, the, the heavier stuff is going to go in your shop bag um, or in your your uh, fil your main um, filtering. So this is just a mainly take out the airborne, the real fines that are real, actually more dangerous stuff. So, uh, looks like a pretty effective solution. Well, that should do it. Uh, I hope you found the video useful. Um, I think this is a, a pretty simple project, easy to do. Something that you should probably have in your shop. If not this, have some sort of filtering. But um, if you have any questions, uh, leave any, any comments in the, in the comment section. I'll try to answer them. Um, please subscribe to my video if you would, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks.